Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to dig deep into one of the most fascinating mysteries in the world, a gate in Jerusalem that's sealed shut until Jesus returns. Yes, you heard that right. There's a gate closed for hundreds of years with a prophecy tied to the second coming of Christ. Why is this gate sealed? Where is it located? Why does it matter to Christians today? Let's dive in and explore all the arguments and I'll take you through Bible verses that make this even more intriguing. First, let's start with the basics. The gate we're talking about is called the Eastern Gate or the Golden Gate of Jerusalem. It's located on the eastern wall of the Old City and faces the Mount of Olives. Now, this gate isn't just another historic entryway. It holds tremendous religious significance, particularly in Christian prophecy. The prophecy of the sealed gate is first mentioned in the book of Ezekiel, a major prophet in the Old Testament. In Ezekiel chapter 44, verses 1 and 2, God gives Ezekiel a vision of the future temple in Jerusalem and specifically talks about a gate that will be sealed. Then he brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, which faces east, and it was shut. And the Lord said to me, This gate shall remain shut, it shall not be opened, and no one shall enter by it, for the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered by it, therefore it shall remain shut. This passage is significant because it indicates a divine sealing of the gate. The reason given is that the Lord himself has entered through it, making it a holy entrance that no ordinary person should pass through. This gate has been sealed for centuries, and the timing and reasoning behind this sealing are what make it so intriguing. In 1541, Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, the ruler of the Ottoman Empire, sealed the gate. While some argue that it was a strategic military decision to fortify the city of Jerusalem, others suggest that it was directly influenced by Jewish and Christian prophecies. According to tradition, Suleiman was aware of the prophecy concerning the Jewish Messiah's return, and he sealed the gate to prevent him from entering Jerusalem. Whether this was a defensive act or an attempt to thwart a prophecy, the action only adds to the mystery and significance of the gate. One of the most compelling aspects of this prophecy is the connection between the Eastern Gate and the Messiah. The Eastern Gate is considered the gate through which the Messiah will enter Jerusalem. Jesus, during his ministry on earth, entered the city through this gate on Palm Sunday in what is known as his triumphal entry, fulfilling the prophecy in Zechariah 9 verse 9, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion! Shout, daughter Jerusalem! See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. This event marked the fulfillment of one prophecy, but many believers hold that this was just the beginning. The Eastern Gate is now sealed, but the expectation is that when Jesus returns for his second coming, he will enter Jerusalem again through this gate. The sealing of the gate holds profound symbolic meaning in the context of Christian theology, a symbol of Christ's authority. The fact that the gate is sealed because the Lord has entered by it signifies the uniqueness and authority of Jesus as the Messiah. It suggests that no one else is worthy to enter by this gate except the Lord himself. Waiting for the Messiah's return, the sealed gate represents the waiting period that Christians are currently in. Just as the gate is physically closed, believers await the moment when it will be opened, signaling Jesus' return. In this sense, the gate symbolizes the hope and anticipation of the Second Coming, a central belief in Christianity, protection and holiness. The sealing of the gate also reflects the idea that certain places and things are made holy by God's presence. Just as the gate was sealed after the Lord entered through it, it becomes a sacred, untouchable part of the city. This reflects the idea that God's holiness is unapproachable and that his second coming will break through all barriers. The Bible contains numerous prophecies regarding the second coming of Jesus, and many of them point to the Mount of Olives and the Eastern Gate. One of the key verses that tie the gate to Jesus' return is found in Zechariah 14 verse 4, which says, On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives, which lies before Jerusalem on the east,
and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west by a very wide valley, so that one half of the mount shall move northward and the other half southward. This passage clearly places the Mount of Olives as the location where Jesus will return to earth. The Eastern Gate sits directly across from the Mount of Olives, which many Christians interpret as the entrance through which Jesus will make his way into Jerusalem upon his return. Another significant aspect of this prophecy relates to the final judgment and the ushering in of God's kingdom. According to Christian eschatology, when Jesus returns, he will come not as a suffering servant, but as a triumphant king, bringing justice and judgment to the world. The Eastern Gate is believed to be the entry point through which he will declare his kingship over the earth. In this sense, the sealed gate represents both the anticipation of salvation for believers and the reality of impending judgment for those who have rejected Christ. As Matthew chapter 24 verse 42 says, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. This serves as a reminder for all Christians to live in readiness for Christ's return, symbolized by the eventual opening of the Eastern Gate. The sealing of the Eastern Gate in Jerusalem is a powerful reminder of both the past and the future. It ties together the prophecies of the Old Testament with the promises of the New Testament, creating a rich tapestry of spiritual meaning. For believers, this gate is not just a physical structure, it's a symbol of hope, a testimony to God's faithfulness and a promise of the Messiah's return. The sealing of the gate encourages Christians to remain vigilant, faithful and hopeful as the fulfillment of God's prophecy draws closer each day. It's a constant visual reminder that while the gate may be closed now, it won't stay closed forever. One day it will open and the King of Kings will walk through it once again, ushering in his eternal kingdom. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please share it with at least three people who might enjoy it too. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Your support helps spread the message to even more people. Let's grow this community together.